So, uh, as we have uh, said, this is CP123, C++ programming, and we shall concern ourselves with variables declaration, data feeding and data types, data processing and outputting. Now, in front of you is a program. As we know, all programs are artifacts which solve a certain problem. The problem that is being solved by the program that we see in front of us is a problem of summation. And the program that you see in front of you deals or solves the problem of summing two numbers, giving us result. So, uh, line number one is just the uh, beginning of the program. That is the main part of the code. And line number two is where now the paragraph starts, which is closed by the last line here. Now, as we get into line number three, this is where the real thinking of programming starts. In line number three, we are declaring three variables of type integer. One variable, we called it x, another variable, we called it y, and another variable is called z. If we want to understand how this line is working in the computer, look at the right hand side you will see that there are several rooms an array of places which is empty so before line number three we assume that and that is the reality the computer memory is empty and nothing is in any part of the memory however when we go to line number three and we declare int x int y int z, the same computer memory now changes and we are now given three rooms within that particular uh, pool of computer memory. One of those places is called x, another is called y, another is called z because those are the labels that we decided to use from declaration statement. So, uh, we find that the computer now has reserved one room and it is called X. It has reserved another room that is called Y and it has recorded another room, uh, reserved another room that is called Z. So that is the end of line three. After reserving rooms, these rooms have got nothing. They are just reserved. So what follows is data inputting, putting data into those rooms. So when I say scene X, you can see now in room X, 4 is inputted. That means I type the 4 which was put into variable X. That is room X. When the code comes to the next line, that is line number 6, you find that it is C in Y. So in variable Y, or we can say in room Y, Number seven is inputted if I happen to type seven. Now, in the next line, which is z is equal to x plus y, that is data processing, the machine goes to room x and then it goes to room y. It takes the content of room x and the content of room y, it adds them and the result is put into room z. That is the translation of line number seven as we see it, we, we see it here. And now, after this line, the, our program comes to the end. So for that matter, if we were to say in C out Z, we would see 11. So that is the end of our uh, first session of our program as we can see it on the screen. Thank you.